Oh boy, this is uh, an interesting apartment. It's nice and it's got an awesome layout. Bedrooms seem pretty big, plus there's two of them. The only problem is the former residents were a little bit messy. What kind of people do you suppose they were? We just got off the train. Here we are at Myrtle Wyckoff. Interesting part of town. There's actually a lot going on right here by the train. It's like this little plaza. Just take a look around. There are businesses pretty much everywhere. Some of them I've heard of and don't like. We're better together. What is this, some kind of spiritual movement? It's not even coffee. It's water disguised as coffee, and this is water disguised as coffee disguised as water. How much you wanna bet this is just the Colombian coffee rebranded because no one bought it. But in spite of my personal gripes, this is actually very convenient. Right next to the train, you got outdoor vegetables. The avocados here are $1. That's the same price Jeff Bezos charges. At Whole Foods, the world's richest man will also sell you an avocado. This taco truck looks like the right deal. Look at that guac and chips right there. And unlike Chipotle, they will sell you a real taco, a real quesadilla, and a real burrito. This street here, this is Gates Avenue in the apartment is south and uh, according to Apple it's a 10 minute walk it's not bad and it means that all these little businesses are easily accessible like this bong store look at all the stuff they've got that your boss will love obviously you can just tell him this is tobacco use only if he smokes too he'll know what you're talking about over here there's a KFC I had their chicken sandwich the other day and uh, let me tell you it was much closer to McDonald's than it was to Popeyes it had zero crunch crunch is what the chicken sandwich is all about. Shout out to the discount stores though. You can save so much money on basic stuff. It's not even funny. Like look at these white tees, so cheap. Nice, there's a full grocery store that is so convenient. Can you imagine buying this massive watermelon and carrying it home? If home's far, you might drop it and what a sad ending to your day. Didn't know there was a white castle over here. And underneath the train tracks, there's actually this really cool little cafe. I've seen people here here, just not right now. I think it's because they have danishes in a honey latte. And look, they've got a vegan pumpkin spice latte cake. That's a mouthful of something right there. Now next to that place is this little store. I think it's like they sell boots and stuff. Hats for your kids, boots for your feet, and for some reason they have a little spy camera. Maybe that spy camera is the security system and it's recording us right now. Then we've got an electronic store. I don't really understand these businesses. Why would anyone buy this tablet from Samsung for a hundred dollars? It's probably horrible. But my daughter would probably love that. Okay, I get what's going on. It's for people who don't know any better. Exquisito Dominican restaurant. Oh wow, that looks really, really good. And everyone here's friendly. La Caleta Equatoriana restaurant. If I said that wrong, I apologize, but I think it's a fish place. This here looks like a little coffee shop. Whoa, check out the menu. They got everything you could possibly need to start your day the right way. And they've got salmon and bacon. But it's crazy how much the neighborhood changes. We're just one block away from the train right now and it's like all residential, super quiet. Oh boy, it'll get loud when this shredded Nissan starts up. I love how you can't see anything inside the car, but it also has TLC plates, so that could be your Uber ride. Would you get in? Over here, there's a basketball court and that's actually a firehouse. I guess if you're good at basketball, which seems to be the only only sport you could play here, this will matter to you, but if you're me, it's not going to because you suck, like I do. And here comes the fire department. I'm glad they're not going where we're going. Anyways, look at that, the address is right there on the side. If you forget where you live, that could be handy. We're supposed to see a two bedroom apartment in here for $2,500. $2,500 for New York, that's a cheap price. Um, let's see what it looks like. This is a, a pretty interesting apartment. It's nice and it's got an awesome layout. Bedrooms seem pretty big, plus there's two of them. The only problem is the former residents were a little bit messy. What kind of people do you suppose they were?
The building also has this massive roof deck. It's the entire top of the building. Let me show you, look at this. You could totally come out here and hang out with some friends if you wanted to. That's where we came out and literally this is the entire roof. This also gives you an idea of just what a peaceful neighborhood it is. It's not wild and crazy like Manhattan. Of course, if you want wild and crazy like Manhattan, you can probably pay $35 to $4,000 for a two bedroom and it won't have a roof deck. Also, what's pretty sweet is the roof is just one floor above where the apartment is. We're just down one flight of stairs. But look at how good this is. One of the bedrooms in the bathroom are that direction and the rest of the apartment goes this way so there's lots of separation between where you and your roommate if you're sharing this with someone are gonna have your private space and we've also got a really large living room nine feet ten inches by seven feet ten inches and I measured from the fridge if you mount the TV on the wall here you could totally get a couch in that corner and if the couch isn't too big over here next to the fridge you could probably put something else there's also these shelves but these look like they were put in by the prior renter i'm guessing they'll be removed hastily erected finishes from the former tenant never a good thing to keep in the apartment okay like i suspected it's a messy kitchen but it's really nice and once this thing gets cleaned up, it's gonna be pretty good to use. The appliances are all full size. Again, even though they're messy, they're in good shape. Everything seems to be working. There's also a dishwasher. Most cheap two beds don't have that. And we have a golden sink sprayer. That changes everything. Counter space is really good. There's a lot of it. It kind of goes in an L shape, which is nice. You've also got four outlets here, two more over there. So kitchen appliances will all fit. And if you wanna have a kitchen table right here against the wall, you could get one of those leaf tables and a couple of chairs. I think that would work pretty well. Our fun little game of devil's advocate continues here in the bedrooms, which I think are actually pretty good. Look at how bright this one is. It's got a skylight and it has a window. What can we see from the window? Another building. The space is also pretty good. 10 feet, nine inches by eight feet, two inches. So lots of room to work with. Bed probably goes over here. And if you have the bed here against any of these other walls, you could have a dresser, you could have a desk and probably a big standing closet right over there. What's also nice is everything here is temperature controlled. So whatever you're comfortable with, you can achieve. Unless your roommate's a moron, then you might need to get rid of him first. Don't move in with a moron. Bedroom number two is all the way down here at the other end of the apartment past the living room. And this one should have a better view, I think. It does, we're facing the street, so it'll get a little bit more light. That's gotta count for something. And the size here's a little bit different. You've got like kind of this curvy L shape. 14 feet, five inches by seven feet, 11 inches, not bad. Bed has to go in that corner. That's the perfect spot. But you can have a queen size bed. You can have your little home office and there is a closet. That's nice. It also looks like it's pretty big. It goes up pretty high too. Good feature. Definitely this is the messier room, but it might be the better room. Now I saved the bathroom for last because normally bathrooms in apartments that aren't clean are kind of tough, but I'm actually surprised. It looks like a great bathroom. Yeah, it's a little bit messy. But look, you got a huge bathtub. Can I get these lights to turn on? Oh yeah, look at that. Lighting in here is great. You've also got two medicine cabinets. I'm not going to touch them, but that is a medicine cabinet and that is also a medicine cabinet. Look at that. And there's storage beneath the sink. I have seen much worse bathrooms in apartments that cost way more money than this. And if you don't want to spend a ton of money on your next place and you don't want it to suck either, something like this might be the way to go. Check out the leasing agent's info, which is in the video description. And then let's see more apartments. Pick one here or here, and I will see you in the next video.